My dudes, I've been contemplating about this for the past couple weeks now. You know, let's do something new. Let's try something different. Let's try something and change it up a bit. The backpack, baby. It's it's so nice. It's so thick. A lot of you guys know this is a tall fescue. It's not just a tall fescue. It is a Kentucky 31. Zero weed seeds. We did not do a full reno a couple years ago. We did an overseed on top of the native grasses, on top of the... Come on, bro. <laughs> the nice thing is we've killed all the weeds. It's weed free. We have dialed down Kentucky 31 into being a nice looking situation. It is the middle of summer right now and this is as green as it can get. It is an amazing cultivar. It is an amazing grass type for this heat. Imagine it's 91 today and the grass looks like this. Time to nuke the back back. Let's go. Now, a lot of you are going to be in the process of either overseeding or doing a full reno. This right here is going to be full reno style. So stay tuned. This is going to be a series. Today, I'm just going to nuke the back back. I'm gonna give it one last proper cut edge, and then we're just gonna spray. Whew. I'm, I'm a little emotional because this has been treating us so well. I mean, look at it. Look at the grass. You can't beat the back back. If this was in someone's front lawn, you're looking, you're like, yeah, that is a lawn. That is nice. It is thick. It is summer. It is green. And I barely water back here. Once every other day. Always produce for us. I know I'm going to get a bunch of hate about the way I'm going to do this because everyone hates glyphosate. Well, guess what? That's pretty much all you can do. And it's legal here because you can buy it at the big box store. That's all we can do. I can't buy uh, Kills All. I'm not going to wait forever and just use vinegar. We're gonna use regular old Roundup. We are gonna wear a respirator, all right? The reason why we're gonna do that is we wanna kill everything. I'll give you the whole process and what we're doing. It's gonna be crazy letting this go. It's actually really sad. <laughs> but it's time for a change and I'll tell you why. The reason why we wanna get rid of this is because we overseeded on native grass, like I said earlier. There's still other grasses here. You can see there's thin looking grasses. There's Kentucky 31. There's a bunch of grasses out here and I want it all even. Over the years, I have learned that having one grass type, renovating the entire lawn, nuking everything, and planting one grass type is the way to get that smooth, even coverage on your lawn. There's no other way to do it. Now, we've overseeded a million times and it's turned out phenomenal. But at the end of the day, you start seeing, oh, you know what? That's a little bit lighter cultivar. That grows faster than that grass type. That grass type likes to die before this grass type or likes to go dormant before this one. But having one grass type, like the main, <sighs> right now in the summer, it's blazing and it's just looking nice and dark, nice and nice and good. <laughs> One grass type is the way to go. What grass are we gonna go with in the backpack? Everyone's been asking, what are you gonna do in the, what are you, what are you gonna do for Reno this year? Well, on top of the two other Renos we're doing, and this is gonna be our project for our property. Stay tuned, it's gonna be a fun one. Let me tell you what we're putting back here. The long awaited decision of what seed I'm going to put down on our renovation. Now on the internet, I have not seen this particular cultivar mix of cultivars or grass type fully planted yet. And I don't see any of you guys, you guys are mixing this. You're mixing this with a Kentucky Blue. You're mixing this with perennial rye. I want to see it fully even on a thousand square feet, planting starting over just the blackout turf type tall fescue. Very drought resistant. It thrives in the heat. Very low maintenance. Now, to give you guys some back information, this is the city property, so it's not really ours. It's not ours. I do a very low maintenance regiment for this back back. Fertilize maybe once a month, the necessary fungicide, insect killer, a ton of N, a lot of just nutrients, a lot of NPK, a lot of micronutrients. I do, a, I do a good amount back there. That's why it looks like that. But apparently this is supposed to just be very resilient and it's more modern. Definitely a turf type fescue as opposed to this giant thick blade of Kentucky 31. If I, okay. 
if I had a giant field, Kentucky 31 all day. It's insane. Sometimes you leave it for like two weeks and it'll grow like 12 inches. It's insane. If I have a little bit of Kentucky 31 right here, I'm gonna show you up close how thick and lush it is. It's amazing. Check this out. Bam. That's Kentucky 31. This is rye and fescue. That's Kentucky 31. Insane. It's been fun. Don't get me wrong. I love Kentucky 31. If it was a giant field, you know, but me, I like to start over. Again, the goal right now is to get all even grass coverage, just like our main is all perennial rye blackout. Now the backyard is a different story. The backyard is a mix of everything as well. And you guys voted this season. I said, should we kill it off and start over? And a lot of you guys said, no, just overseed. So I overseeded with blackout perennial rye and Kentucky bluegrass, and it looks phenomenal. Can you tell I'm procrastinating? I am. <laughs> so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna bust out the glyphosate. We're gonna spray it and we're gonna wait about two weeks. We are gonna do the full process. If you want to skip ahead and you want to just plant over, you can, but I don't like doing that. I want to kill everything first, dethatch it all so, you know, takes out all the dead. You gotta remember too, full reno is a process. Now you can follow this series because I'll be doing, you know, real time. If I'm doing something, it's probably the day before and I post the video. So you'll have plenty of time to, you know, keep up with me. I'm not gonna mow low, you can mow low, but we want the glyphosate to attach to a plant. Again, glyphosate has no soil properties whatsoever. It is all just a plant killer. Whatever it touches, dies. Again, we've, Dial this down, there's pretty much no weeds, so we don't need to add anything else. We're just gonna kill it off and make sure you keep watering during this process. That way in two weeks, if there's still something growing, you have to spray it again. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, in a, in a, I'm in a weird mood because number one, we're killing a very, very healthy plant. Very healthy plant. But I really wanna see this in action. I almost wanted to kill the front and then put this in the front, but no. I like the dark action in the front. We're gonna leave that be for now. I'm definitely a little sad, but it has to be done because I wanna see it. And a lot of you are asking, are you gonna plant turf type tall fescue somewhere so we can see it? Yes, this is it. Who's trespassing? <laughs> I'm not affiliated with this company, but I do make a little commish off of the Amazon affiliate link. So if you guys want to buy some blackout seed for your fall renovations, your fall overseeds, please use the links in the description. Helps out the channel a ton. I'll show you the front here. It's just ridiculous looking. I have not mowed in, I would say five days, just to let it, you know, grow a little bit. Let me show you one second, put this away. Like I told you, the front is full perennial rye blackout. Amazing, let me show you. Yes, sir, that is blackout perennial rye, full perennial rye, a little bit of poa. <laughs> but overall, this is the grass of the season. I mean, if you want a thick, lush situation, Perennial rye, full, I'm telling you, one grass type is the move. One grass type makes it look all even. Again, I haven't cut this in a couple days just because I want it to grow out a little bit. Summertime, no brown, amazing. Just water and furt. Even the sides, look at how thick it is. That's some grass, my dudes. Across the table, echoes in the room. Shadows stands on bare walls, once with the melodies of you. Memories linger in the air, like whispers in the breeze. I'm longing for your presence, amidst the silence that I see.
your name a silent tone Through the corridors of memory Where love was sown Oh, this dusty road you wander A path I can't partake But when the miles have worn you thin This love will be When I tell you guys we're going out with a bang, fully cut and edged, striped for the last time we're gonna see the backpack. Very sad moment, very sad moment. I know I'm being a little dramatic right now, but you have to understand, I grew this Kentucky 31. It's been, what, a couple seasons now, and it's it's been treating us right. That's, that's for damn sure. And as you can see, summer weather, and it's just green, lush, thick. No need to do anything but fertilize and mow. It's like even hard to catch or, you know, keep up with mowing sometimes. You know, this channel, we like to do different things. We like to ruin things and make them better. And the whole purpose of this is to show you guys how to renovate from the beginning and really do it right. Get that one grass type out there, you know, learn from it. We learned from this a ton. This is probably the most resilient grass type that you can, you can have in, in a lawn, in a field especially. Kentucky 31 tall fescue overseeded into native grasses that have been there for years and I'm gonna miss it as you can see I'm a little down because I hate that just the same same with the front when we renovated the front as well very sad that we got rid of the salad bar this is the back back but the back back's gonna come back better than ever I'm guessing by end of September lush epic turf type tall fescue we can cut lower it's gonna be great you do this you wait about two weeks, keep watering, and then if you have to, you spray again. By the third week of August, we'll be doing the full process from a completely killed off situation. Sad and excited at the same time. Thanks for tuning in, guys. You guys are the best. You guys are awesome. We'll catch you in the next video. Take it easy.